Hello, everyone, and welcome to our school choice information session presented by Gaston County Schools. I am Todd Hagens, and it is a pleasure to have all of you with us today. This program is the fourth of four school choice information sessions that are designed to give parents and the community an opportunity to learn about the 21 dynamic school choice and magnet school programs that are available to students for the upcoming 2021-2022 academic year. During this session, we are highlighting six of our school choice programs, including Hawks Nest STEAM Academy, and representing Hawks Nest is the principal, Dr. Jill Payne, the STEAM Academy at Stanley Middle School, and representing Stanley is the principal, Dr. Rebecca Huffstetler, the Health Sciences Academy at East Gaston High School, and representing East Gaston is the principal, Jennifer Reap, Holland School of Technology, and representing Highland School of Technology is the principal, James Montgomery. The Gaston Early College High School and representing the Early College is the principal, Josh Allen. And our newest school choice program is the Gaston Early College of Medical Sciences. And with us to share about this new school is our associate superintendent, Dr. Melissa Balknight. And also joining us is Terry Serbeck, our Director of Student Assignment. Thank you all for being with us today. As you all know, it is school choice time in Gaston County Schools, and we are currently accepting applications for all 21 of our choice programs. Parents may submit an application by going online to the Gaston County Schools website and clicking the School Choice Magnet Schools icon. You can also access this information through the Gaston County Schools mobile app. We want to let everyone know that the deadline to submit an application is Sunday, February 28th. Our school choice programs are open to students who are enrolled in Gaston County Schools, as well as students who are currently enrolled in a private school, charter school, virtual school, or homeschool program. Here is how today's webinar will work. We will give each school representative an opportunity to share information about the choice program at his or her school. Once we have shared about the six schools being featured during this session, we will give our webinar participants an opportunity to ask questions using the Q&A feature. It is now time to provide an overview of our programs and we begin with our STEAM Academy programs. Our STEAM Academy programs are two schools that are focused on STEAM, which stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Mathematics. Hawks Nest STEAM Academy is home to Gaston County's only STEAM Academy Magnet School for elementary students. With a focus on the five STEAM areas, students are engaged in collaborative, hands-on activities through a project-based instructional model. The goal is to go beyond teaching the core curriculum and develop students who are innovative learners, creative thinkers, and ready to apply what they learn to real world situations. Students at Hawks Nest have technology at their fingertips and they enjoy participating in activities such as robotics, advisory and spark of genius clubs, theater, music, and much more. This program creates a pathway for students to participate in the STEAM Academy at Stanley Middle School. Stanley is home to Gaston County's only STEAM Academy for middle schoolers. From the five STEAM areas, all students engage in lessons and activities involving science and math. In the sixth grade, students create a foundation of skills and knowledge related to technology. In the seventh grade, students build on what they have learned about technology and gain a perspective of the arts. In the eighth grade, students add the engineering component to complete the middle school STEAM experience. In addition to core subject courses, students can take core plus classes in art, band, chorus, Spanish, business technology, computer science, medical science, engineering, and physical education health. And students have an opportunity 
to take high school courses while in middle school. The program at Stanley provides a pathway for students to participate in the Health Sciences Academy at East Gaston High School or the Technology and Industrial Engineering Academy at Bessemer City High School. And we are ready for our school presentations and we will start with Hawk's Nest STEAM Academy. And joining us is the principal, Dr. Jill Payne. And Dr. Payne, before we begin, I would like to congratulate Hawk's Nest on being selected as a North Carolina STEM School of Distinction for this year. Congratulations on this statewide honor. Thank you, Todd. Um, Hawk's Nest is a place that is a great learning environment for our students. We get the opportunity to build the foundation for STEM education for students throughout our district. Um, we are so excited to be able to provide that hands-on innovative learning opportunities where students get to make explore their learning and their content and make meaning of it. And then they get a lot of opportunities for choice in the way that they show mastery of their curriculum. Um, our students are involved in robotics and um, lots of inquiry based. We do STEAM clubs and um, pro just provide a lot of opportunities for them to have innovative learning opportunities um, in school. So is there a particular class or pathway or area that really grabs the student's attention? What, what do student, students love the most, I guess you could say, about Hawk's Nest? Well, I think being a elementary school, you have to look at the whole child. And so we try to provide students um, opportunities across the board. So in our science, there's Science Olympiad, there's Spark of Genius, which are avenues for them to explore um, beyond just the core curriculum. So we have the same standards um, as the traditional schools, but with the problem-based learning approach, they're able to explore beyond that. So they're able to um, do different types of things with the theater, with the arts program, with our band program and our instruments. Um, as well as the technology integration. Our students can, um, it amazes me what they can do in technology starting at a young age of, um, in kindergarten. Um, our students get to do lots of clubs and they get to do um, lots of different opportunities. We just, our biggest thing is that we just wanna make sure that we provide them the opportunity to explore and ignite passions in them that they can then further develop when they get into the middle school and high school program. And we hear uh, people talk about STEM education, and in this, this case, we're talking about STEAM education, and the difference there is the component on the arts, and I think that might be a component that really makes your program stand out. Yes, sir. We have um, a theater class, and with that, it's a course theater class combination, but our students have put on a Junior Blooming Doll play or production every year, and it's kindergarten through fifth grade get to participate in that, um, as well as the fine arts. And we get to do a lot with our, um, our music program as well, where they do lots of instruments. We have guitars and drums and keyboards. And our goal, like I said, is to try to allow our children to explore and begin to um, just be, get exposure to that so that then they can further develop the area of passion that they have as an individual student. Okay, if you could use three words and only three words to describe Hawk's Nest STEAM Academy, what would those words be? Okay, the first word that I would choose would be safe because all of us try to make sure that and make sure that we provide a physically safe environment. But one of the things about STEAM education is that we try to instill a safe learning environment where students are free to take risks and explore um, and pursue creativity um, when they're going to solve problems. Um, I think that giving them choice and making sure that we make it an individualized learning environment um, also creates that safe environment for students because they, um, it's an inclusive environment. Um, the second word I would use would be excitement because our teachers try to make sure that every day kids have a, something to look forward to when they come to school, that they are excited because we believe that if students are excited about learning, then the learning is going to take place. So we try to make sure that in those hands-on learning environments that it is very, that we provide students the opportunity to be creative, but we also try to do sneak peeks to create that motivation and excitement for coming to school. Um, how we do school is different. Um, we have the same standards, but our, um, the way that we allow students to explore learning and make meaning of that learning is different. And so that's a fun environment for kids. And so that's exciting for them. Uh, and the last thing um, is just the innovation, the creativity and imagination that we allow them to use and able to, and 
order to make meaning of their learning and to showcase that learning um, speaks volumes. Um, we're super excited about the coding and the robotics that takes place and how they can um, use technology in many ways at our school. Well, thank you for that information about uh, the STEAM program at the elementary school level at Hawk's Nest. Now let's turn the conversation to the program at the middle school level. And with us is Dr. Rebecca Huffstetler from Stanley Middle School. Dr. Huffstetler, if I challenged you to use 100 words or less to describe the STEAM Academy at Stanley Middle School, what would you say? I would say the STEAM Academy at Stanley Middle School is home, we realize, to a diverse group of learners that's still in a small town environment. But what we have learned in our years as the STEAM program is that STEAM is really just collaboration of students together, but also learning to collaborate with their teachers and learning to that both, both sides have something to contribute to the learning process. And they've learned to value that in each other. We've had opportunities and continue to have opportunities where our kids have a challenging learning environment, where it's project-based, but it's also can sometimes be problem-solving skills that they need to learn and then use those um, in their everyday life. And one of the other things that we do, another way to describe our school um, is that we have choice for our kids. And you've mentioned some of our core plus options and choices for students, but we've really grown and developed those. But what I would really like for people to know is that we are a junior Disney world, the happiest place on earth, because when steam is at its best, it really looks like Disney world. It's all five of those strands coming together to make something great. And so we're working every day for our goal to be the happiest place on earth in education. And I must point out that you have a beautiful new school for all of that uh, Disney magic, as you say, uh, to take place. Yes, sir, we do. We're very fortunate and as, and as beautiful as our facility is, it's really what goes on inside our facility and the people who make it happen every day. That's really what's the most beautiful. So let's talk a little bit about some of the classes or the courses that really engage students and maybe what classes are the favorites among students? I think the best way to answer that question is it depends on who you are. Because if you are a student who is an arts driven student, then you have choices like band, you have some of jazz band has been able to be a course we've added. We have a great choir program, we have arts programs, we have foreign language programs. If that's your thing, then that's what you do. We have computer science one, two and three for students where they learn to code at a very basic level and then advance their way to, to skills well beyond anything. They can program the rides for Disney. And then for students who are interested in healthcare, we actually have a health science um, options from sixth grade to eighth grade that students can take to, to explore, we also have the engineering courses, but the best thing that we offer is that you can try all of them safely, whether it's something you're good at and you wanna get better, or it's something that you've just heard of before, or maybe never heard of until you got to middle school, we have those options for you. So I think it depends on who you are as to what your favorite is. Okay, if I challenged you to use three words to describe your program, what would those words be? Those three words would be engaging, personal, and confidence building. Our school is engaging because everything we do is a hands-on opportunity. Sometimes it's hands-on in technology. Sometimes it's hands-on when you use things in our maker space. Sometimes it's using that brain, using that pencil, and just drawing out and figuring out things together in a team. But it's a, a place that's an engaging place to be. It's also engaging in conversation. It's also personal because again, as I spoke of before, students have lots of choice in their core plus or elective classes to choose, but also within their classrooms, they have choice in lots of them to choose what learning path is the best way for them to learn, but also the best way for them to show what they have learned. And so it's very personal there. And I think the other thing about it is that it's confidence building. Um, Jill had referenced earlier about the risk taking things. And I think that's something that's hard for middle school students because we all want to get it right. None of us ever want to get it wrong. And so one of the things that being in the STEAM program does is you have to learn trial and error. You don't get it right the first time, whether it's figuring out how to code, whether it's building something, whether it's dissecting a brain and knowing all the parts the first time or learning how to play an instrument. You learn that trial and error is okay and that really sometimes the process 
is more as important or equal to the outcome. And so I think teaching students just that confidence building to be to be okay with who they are and how they got somewhere is, is what we do and another word to describe us. Well, thank you for that information about the STEAM Academy at Stanley Middle School. And now we want to turn our attention to the Health Sciences Academy at East Gaston High School. And the Health Science Academy is a unique partnership that East Gaston has with Caremont Health and Gaston College. The Academy is designed to provide students with the skills and knowledge they need for a solid foundation for success in the health services field. Students have the opportunity to take classes in the following areas, nurse aid, pharmacy technician, animal medicine, health and fitness science, medical assisting, and foundations of health care. In addition to coursework, students build connections to careers in health science through work-based learning and internships, collaboration with healthcare leaders, and health industry certifications. The program's goal is to make it possible for students to explore careers in the healthcare field and participate in unique experiences as they move on to college or to the workforce after graduation. And with us today to talk a little more about the Health Sciences Academy at East Gaston High School is the principal, Jennifer Reap. And Ms. Reap, if you could take 100 words to describe your program at East Gaston, let's hear what you would say. Thank you, Mr. Hagens. Um, that is gonna be a difficult task. There's so many things great to say about the program at East Gaston High School. The Caremont Health Sciences Academy um, was designed to create educational pathways for students in a very fast growing health care field. And Gaston County certainly is a very large county in need of those. Students who enroll in our academy will get a head start on their higher education and their career, career goals as they learn basic health care through um, work-based learning. The partnership with Gaston College offers students potential to begin their college courses their junior year and able to participate in aspects of um, college life, internships with Caremont, all of that while they are still having a traditional high school experience at East Gaston. Students in our program can, can still be part of ROTC, band, athletics, and any other clubs that they participate or wish to participate in. So it's a great opportunity to merge um, special interests of the healthcare field with a traditional high school setting. Uh, I'm glad you pointed that out because it really is the best of both worlds. You get to concentrate on your courses in healthcare, but you also get to have that traditional high school experience. That is correct. So let's talk about some of the courses. I mentioned those earlier, but what do those courses and those classes, what do those mean for students? Our students, as you mentioned, Mr. Hagens, are in, um, they can take six different pathways, um, foundations of healthcare, animal science, health and fitness, medical assisting, nursing assistant, and pharmacy technician. Um, early In their early years at East Gaston, those courses that support those programs are in, um, we have physiology that is to help support our health fitness. We have nursing um, for those that are going more into the nurse portion of the healthcare field. And then Project Lead the Way, which is a new class that we've added this year for the students that are truly want to be challenged in the exploratory portion of health. And so we, we're trying to offer different courses for every pathway so that they can get that true head start before beginning their college courses at Gaston College. Of course, Gaston College's courses are aligned with certifications and certificates for these areas. And um, we're really excited that our first cohort of students will begin that coursework next year. So I challenge you to use three words to describe your academy at East Gaston. I would say that our academy is innovative, it is versatile, and it is inclusive. Um, it's innovative because it combines career, uh, college, and high school all into a great four-year experience for students. Um, versatile because the program prepares students to go in a variety of directions. Students are not going to leave here all going the same way. Some will leave going to the workforce. Others may want to continue their two-year degree at Gaston College, and others may decide to go a four-route university. 
Um, and inclusive because it is inclusive of everything that is high school. Students who want to be part of anything else that is going on in our school can and still be included in the Health Sciences Academy. So we think that those three words describe our academy pretty well. And I think it's important for your parents to understand and to realize that the healthcare industry is growing in Gaston County and there is a demand there for the workforce of the future and the Health Sciences Academy at East Gaston High School helps to prepare students to be that future workforce. Thank you, Mr. Higgins. Okay, now we turn our attention to the Highland School of Technology. Highland School of Technology is Gaston County's first magnet high school and also Highland is a 2017 National Blue Ribbon School Award winner. Holland is a world-class school that prepares students for a world-class future. Students complete courses in one of three academies, health sciences, business, legal, and information sciences, and manufacturing, engineering technology, and graphics. Students are challenged to think critically, so they are ready for success beyond graduation in college, high demand careers, and in life. Year after year, Holland receives recognition for having one of the highest graduation rates and highest student achievement rates in North Carolina. And I'd like to point out that the Charlotte Business Journal has ranked Holland as first in the Charlotte region for college and career readiness among students. And joining us is the principal of the Highland School of Technology, James Montgomery. And Mr. Montgomery, thank you for being with us. And we are ready to hear all about Highland. If you could use 100 words to describe the program at Highland, what would you say? Thank you, Mr. Higgins. I would say Highland is the school. We do many things and we do them all quite well. And our record speaks to that. But more importantly than that, we are a school whose slogan is a world-class school educating world-class students. And that could not be more true. If you were to walk the hallways of Highland, you would be so impressed with the quality of the leaders that not only educate our students, but also receive the education. It is an amazing opportunity for all in Gaston County. And we are super proud of all that goes on here at Highland. I'd also say our graduates are prepared for whatever they choose to do to be leaders, whether that's attending an Ivy League school, Chapel Hill, Duke, Carolina, Davidson, Gaston College, military or the workforce, no matter what they choose, our students are the leaders that lead the way in those opportunities as they are prepared here at Highland. Academically, you touched on many of the same topics that we brag about that our students are able to perform at, but I do think it's worth noting that academically, we are an amazing place to receive an education. In the state of North Carolina, we are in the top 1% for not only proficiency, but we are equally proud, if not more, that we are in the top 1% of all of the 2,500 schools that participate in the state's testing program for getting our kids to their potential, which is the academic growth portion. We also are proud, as you noted, that the Charlotte Business Journal has ranked Gaston Early College and Highland as the top one and two schools in the Charlotte Business Region. And we are proud of that designation. We are also equally proud, as you mentioned, that we are a federally recognized Blue Ribbon School as of 2017. And we continue to receive an A or A plus, whichever is the top designation for the state that year since report cards were created in the state of North Carolina. We also are a top national STEM school without it even being a program area that's designed in the structural components of what we do here at Highland, but it is nice to receive a national recognition for STEM here at Highland. And we are also, as you mentioned, a 100% graduation rate school on a regular basis in the state of North Carolina. In addition to that, not only equally proud of the academic component. We're also equally proud that no matter what we do, we try to do it to the best of our ability. And that includes our total school program, whether it is our FBLA, TSA, HOSA, or Beta Club and other clubs, they are not only at the top at the state level, but also the national level on a regular basis. 
Also, our athletic programs are top notch. We have finished second in the 1A state conference that we are aligned with for several years in a row now, and we are extremely proud of our athletic programs. In fact, recently we have set records both in volleyball and this morning I was able to recognize one of our students who has just recently crowned the state winner of cross country for the 1A classification and we are proud of her. But we are also ready to set records this year in softball, also in uh, all of our track events and track and field events. And moving forward, we are proud of our student athletes. So it is the well-rounded education that students receive on and off the court, field, swimming pool, and in the classroom that we are proud of here. And I would close with just two questions. What makes Highland special? It's everything. It is when you begin your fall freshman year, you are immersed in the most amazing education and schooling things that are created. And as you mentioned, we're in our 21st year and 20 something years ago, this great experiment called the Highland School of Technology has now birthed the most amazing opportunities for the children of Gaston County. And we are extremely proud to be a part of something unique, special and great. And Mr. Montgomery, I appreciate uh, a, a great summary of the Highland School of Technology. You captured a lot of information uh, in what you said about Highland. And I wanna thank you for uh, giving a shout out to uh, your sister school, I guess you could say, to the Gaston Early College for the outstanding efforts that they have made in college and career readiness as well. So um, if you had three words to describe Highland, if you could pick out three words only, what would those three words be to describe Highland? I would start with preparation. The structure of our school prepares children for whatever they choose to do after graduation to be incredibly good and well prepared to achieve at great levels, whatever they choose to do post-graduation. And then secondly, the way we're able to do that is the word comprehensive. Everything about Highland, whether it's the seven pathways from graphics to computer or manufacturing engineering to the healthcare profession is designed to show students that we don't just teach in isolation, whether it's math, science or, or engineering or graphics. It's our ability to prepare students to see the relationship, the real world application between all of those areas and then put that package together in a comprehensive fashion that prepares them for post-graduation. And then finally, I think our approach is the word great. No matter what our students do, we want them to be great at it and to reach their full potential, whether that is the productive struggle of the journey or whether it's the celebration at the finish line, we want them to be great at what they do. Thank you, Mr. Montgomery. Uh, for that wonderful information about the Highland School of Technology. And now we turn our attention to our early college high school programs. And first, the Gaston Early College High School is an innovative magnet school partnership with Gaston College that offers rigorous academics, state-of-the-art technology, small classes that foster group discussion and interaction, enriching activities, and much more. At the Gaston Early College, students have an opportunity to receive a high school diploma, complete college courses, and earn an associate in arts, an associate in science, or an associate in engineering degree. Although students attend high school an extra year, which is called grade 13, to allow for completion of the college courses, they graduate with an academic advantage over their peers. Without question, the Gaston Early College is a unique high school experience for students as they go to school on the Gaston College campus in Dallas and learn what it is like to be in a college environment. We are ready to talk about the Gaston Early College High School and we welcome the principal, Mr. Josh Allen. And Mr. Allen, I will challenge you to also, uh, if you had 100 words to describe the high, to describe your school, the Gaston Early College High School, what would you say? Thank you, Mr. Higgins. Our students come to us to earn their high school diploma and their associate's degree in four or five years for free in a small school setting that is uniquely supportive of students. 
Our students work frequently in collaborative settings to tackle academic and real world problems with the assistance of our school staff along the way. We also work very closely with local school and community partners to serve them in a various community service opportunities so that our students get a real world package and they are prepared for what is to come once they leave our program. So talk a little bit about some of the classes, the courses, the pathways that are available through the Gaston Early College with your partnership with Gaston College. Yes, sir. Our students will take typical high school courses in math, English, science, and social studies, uh, especially during their ninth and 10th grade years. Um, and as they matriculate through our program, uh, they also take college courses. Our students will take college courses from the very, very first semester with us. Uh, and their 11th, 12th, and 13th years, they begin to take more and more college courses um, so that they can, of course, advance towards completing their associate's degree. Uh, as they take these courses, they have the option of three associate's degrees, an associate in science, an associate in arts, or an associate in engineering. So if you had to identify one thing that makes your program stand out, what would you say is that one thing? So we are designated by the state of North Carolina as a cooperative, innovative high school. Uh, and as you mentioned earlier, we are located on the campus of Gaston College, and we focus on pushing our students to reach their academic and future professional goals. Our students experience many of the common high school experiences that other students experience in our traditional high schools, such as school clubs and school dances and after school activities, but they also have an opportunity to take advantage of all the programs and experiences that are offered by Gaston College to all of their normal college students because our students are considered simultaneously a Gaston County Schools high school student and a Gaston College community college student. I tell people all the time that Gaston Early College High School is a uniquely supportive school. We know that our students and their families have important goals related to their success and we are committed to helping them realize those goals. So if I asked you to use three words to describe the Gaston Early College High School, what three words would you use? Yes, yeah, so I would start by saying that we are an academically driven school. Uh, we want students who are determined to be successful and that they know that the path in academics is going to help them reach that success. We want students who are committed to learning and committed to growth. And so the academically driven nature of our school would be the first word I would choose. Uh, our students, our teachers are going to push our students. The community college instructors are going to push our students. And we're going to, as I said earlier, help them reach the goals that they and their families have set for them. The second word I would choose is supportive. Uh, we know that doing high school and college at the same time is a challenge. Uh, we know that it takes a unique amount of support to make sure that our students get through our program in on time and, and in a successful manner. And we are committed to working with our students to help them tackle whatever challenges may come their way and to help their families also support them at home because it is a team effort as they work to get across that ultimate finish line with having a high school diploma and an associate's degree at the same time in a four or five year program. And the final word that I would choose is unique. Uh, again, we know that our program is, is not the common program that students take when they choose a high school. Uh, so it's unique in that aspect. It's also unique in the way that we approach our program. Our students typically uh, will have a normal high school experience Monday through Thursday in their classrooms. And then on Fridays, we have what we call Flex Fridays where our students are involved in required community service, again, with our local uh, school partners or our local community partners. Uh, and we are working to develop their skills as a human being, because we know that when they leave our program, they're gonna be much more than an academically driven student. They're going to be people who are well-prepared, good human beings who are gonna be successful in the world that awaits them. And Mr. Allen, we certainly appreciate all of the great information about the Gaston Early College High School. And we are very excited to share about a second early college program that is being established on the Gaston College campus in Dallas. The new Gaston Early College of Medical Sciences 
will open in August 2021, and it will operate as a separate school from the Gaston Early College High School. So basically, Gaston County becomes one of the few school districts in North Carolina to have two early college programs. The new Gaston Early College of Medical Sciences is an innovative healthcare focused high school that is designed especially for students interested in careers in the medical and healthcare industry. The new school is a collaborative effort with Gaston College, Belmont Abbey College, and Caramont Health, and it is intended to develop a future workforce to meet the growing demand for healthcare professionals in our community. Students will have an opportunity to earn a high school diploma and an associate degree in preparation for a career in the medical health care field. Programs and pathways include nursing, health information technology, human services technology, and pre-medicine biotechnology sciences. In addition to high school and college level coursework, students will participate in job shadowing experiences and gain hands-on learning in real world settings through Caremont Health, conduct undergraduate research and prepare themselves for post-secondary education and or going directly into the workforce. And to share more about our newest school choice program is our Associate Superintendent, Dr. Melissa Baltknight. And Dr. Baltknight, if you could use 100 words to describe this new program, what would you say? Thank you, Mr. Higgins. And as Mr. Montgomery shared, Highland School of Technology is in their 21st year. And this is our 21st choice program in the county. And it's in addition to our magnet programs at the high school level. So we're extremely excited. When we were considering applying for the application, completing the application process, there were many uh, districts in the room. When we completed the process, only two cooperative innovative high schools were approved in this cycle. So we're very proud of the accolades that Mr. Allen shared about our first early college, and we believe that had a great impact on Gaston County receiving a second opportunity. So we're very pleased to offer a second cooperative innovative high school on the campus of Gaston College. It will be in the Comer Engineering Technologies building. And because it is a new high school, we will seat 160 students in the first year. This program is unique because we partnered with Caremont, our community, we looked at our economic development, Belmont Abbey, to look at the career goals and needs for this community. So we also want to focus our energies on first generation college families and students that want a career in health. So we're very excited about that. The programs, have, as you have outlined, uh, we also have an Associates of General Education and Nursing. You talked about that, but I want families to also understand that with that, they have the ability with that two-year degree to transfer to a four-year college or university, also to go to work from graduation and potentially make $69,000 is the median rate for a nurse with a two-year degree in nursing at this time. Also, they can get a diploma in biotechnology. We're very excited about that with a median income of $53,000. And then health information technology is a two-year degree, which will be very valuable as we expand our medical offerings in the community with medical coding. And then lastly, human services is a two-year degree that could transfer to Belmont Abbey or to another school. And we could actually end up with school social workers from the program. So we're very excited about that as well. We have divided our seats among the high schools in Gaston County, which is very similar to the process at Highland and the early college. So children from all of the high schools will get an opportunity to participate. We're very excited about um, the wide variety of programs. And I think Mr. Allen already talked about one of the things that I like most about an early college or the courses that kids can take at East Gaston or the early college is that they're gonna save lots of college tuition. So when they complete this program, families could save about $10,000 in college tuition. So imagine how that helps a child out in life with their college tuition and with families. So we're very excited about the program. We cover all the cost of fees and books as well as a part of the program. It is very innovative and will be a part of the Gaston early college family. And I think it says something in a community where there is expansion in the healthcare field and growth uh, with our hospital through Caremont Health, you can see the need 
not only for the program that we have at East Gaston in health sciences, but also for this early college program because the future need is there. And so we are taking a proactive approach to offer these two programs so that our workforce, our students can be prepared to get those jobs so that they can have great careers in the healthcare and medical industries. So Dr. Baltnight, with this being a new program, if you could pick out three words that could really get people excited about the program, what would those three words be? Well, when I think about this program and compare it to all the other programs, because they're all so great, but I think about the opportunity in this program, it could be life-changing for a student and a family to be a part of this first inaugural year of the program, but also with the commitment from the community to make sure that these students have valuable internship experiences, great opportunities for jobs beyond this program, this opportunity, the partnership with Belmont Abbey to guarantee that they can have a seat at that school as well, but also that they can go to any college or university that they choose from here or to work. So that to me is life-changing. I love the fact that it is small. So children will get lots of individualized attention to get through the challenges, as Mr. Allen described earlier, about completing high school and college at the same time. And also very relevant because we didn't make these decisions of which programs to offer in isolation. We partnered with Gaston College, Caramont, and Belmont Abbey, and also worked with economic development to make sure that these jobs will be there and available and are needed as students graduate from high school. Thank you for that information, Dr. Baltnight. And we do want to let everyone know that for the first year of this program, we are accepting 80 ninth grade students and 80 10th grade students to create 160 seats at the new Gaston Early College of Medical Sciences. So Dr. Baltnight, thank you for that information. And also thank you to all of our school representatives for being with us today and sharing about the school choice program at your school. When you hear this information, you are very impressed to hear what these schools have to offer the families in Gaston County. So we've heard about the programs. We are going to take just a minute to share with you some general information about school choice. And I'm going to ask Ms. Serbeck if she will talk just a few minutes about uh, school choice and provide some reminders. Mr. Higgins, thank you. Um, it is so exciting to offer our online application platform for all of our choice programs. Todd, what this does is it gives families the chance to sit down with their children, learn about every program on our website through the frequently asked questions and the videos that are going up and talk about what the interest is of each of their children. And then they can submit their applications right there on our website. Todd, it's important for them to know that they can apply for as many programs as they want. So there's always a first choice and possibly even a second choice, but we encourage everybody to apply for as many programs as they find interest in. The application deadline ends on February 28th, so I encourage you to get on and go through that process. Our lottery will be held April 1st. It is done virtually through a third vendor, third party vendor, and emails will go out to each family the next day on April 2nd. So they will know very quickly um, if they got offered a seat somewhere. Todd, I think it's important to remember as well that if they didn't get a seat offer that they will go on a wait list. So when they get that email, it will tell them what their waitlist number is. So that's encouraging as well. If they didn't get what they were looking for, they can watch for their um, waitlist number to move up. And Terry, I think it also, we want to let everyone know that typically for most of our programs, entry is at the kindergarten, sixth grade and ninth grade levels. However, we do have a few programs that have limited space at other grade levels. 
So they can check the website for more information about that. And you make a good point that uh, parents and students should apply for every program that they want to apply for. Because yes. get your name in the hat. And then once the lottery is conducted, that's when you really decide which program you want to accept. So um, again, apply to, if you're considering two or three or four of our programs, apply to all of them. And uh, we'll see how the lottery uh, happens. And then you'll be able to make your decision. Okay. We um, have just a few minutes to uh, take some questions from those of you participating in our webinar today. We do want to give you the opportunity to use the Q&A feature in the webinar to submit your questions. You will find that icon at the bottom of your screen. We ask that you keep your questions general since we have a number of people on today's web webinar. And if you have a specific question about your child or your family, uh, we would like for to have someone contact you offline instead of share, sharing personal or family information with everyone over the webinar. And if you think of a question later, or if we do not get to your question today, we invite you to email us at schoolchoice at gaston.k12.nc.us so that we can help get those answers for you. Again, the address, the email address is schoolchoice at gaston.k12.nc.us. So let's see what questions we have uh, in uh, the Q&A feature. And Ms. Serbeck, I will ask for your help as well as our school uh, representatives to help answer some of these questions uh, as I try to facilitate uh, what we have um, listed. We have a question about East Gaston. It, it asks, uh, does a student have to attend East Gaston to be able to take advantage of the college classes? And Ms. Reap, I think that you have the college classes that are a part of your academy program that are specific to your program that are the college level classes. Is that correct? Yes, Todd, that is correct. Um, there are some courses uh, that that our students take that are available to other students through the um, College and the Career Promise program. However, there are program there are courses in each of our programs that are only unique to East Gaston. So, for example, in our veterinarian program, animal breeds and husbandry and veterinary and medical terminology is unique to us. Um, in our foundation, I'm sorry, in our health and fitness, the fit and well for life and prevention of care and exercise injuries is unique to us. And each other pathway has other unique courses that are unique to East Gaston. But in addition to that, the courses that our students take will be taught on East Gaston's campus. And so even though students um, in other high schools may take college courses, they take them through the CCP program at East Gaston's Health Sciences Academy they take them at East Gaston. And so we're thrilled that Gaston College will provide professors that are here teaching our students. There is a question about the pathways. And I mentioned that you have a pathway from Hawks Nest to Stanley and then Stanley to East Gaston or to Bessemer City High School. Those pathways uh, are just that. They are pathways, but they do you do not have um, automatic guarantee into those programs the schools will reach out to those students to say if you're at if you're at Stanley to say hey you may want to consider going to East Gaston into this program but you do have to meet the requirements and be a part of the application process and uh, Ms. Serbeck if I have spoken out of turn on that uh, please correct me but I think that is the answer uh, for for one of our questions. Um, if I could add to that Todd so the Stanley STEAM um, choice students will be transitioned to East Gaston or Bessemer City depending on their choice and then they will um, be looked at to make sure they meet that criteria. Okay we have a question about students at Stanley Middle being guaranteed a seat at Highland to get into the Highland School of Technology everyone has to apply is that correct? That is correct. Okay for the medical um, 
early college, the new medical sciences program, we have a question about sports, uh, being um, able to participate in sports at the home school or, a, or at Highland or another school. And Dr. Baltonite, I think it's correct to say that that program is structured just like the Gaston early college high school and sports are not available. That is correct. And Ms. Serbeck, we have a question about the lottery. We know it is being held virtually um, about whether or not you can watch the lottery. And I know in the past with our lottery at Highland and at Hawks Nest, you were able to watch that. I don't think you can actually watch it. Is that correct? That is correct. We have a third party that actually performs that lottery and they send it out to us and to the families at the same time on the, the following day. And there's also a question about the applications or the seats for Gaston County school students versus students that are not currently in Gaston County schools. And uh, for example, with the Highland Lottery, if it, we, there is a student who does not currently attend a Gaston County public school, that student has the same um, opportunity to get in Highland because that student is assigned to the high school feeder area that they would attend if they were already enrolled in Gaston County Schools. Todd, that's correct. There's a question about how many students are accepted in each program, and we ask you to go to our website, our school choice page. We have all of that information on there um, for all of the, the programs, all 21 programs. There's a um, pathway question uh, about the Health Sciences Academy at East Gaston. And uh, Ms. Reed, the various pathway areas that we have mentioned, um, students can choose if they want to pharmacy technician, they can choose that or they can choose um, animal science. They have a choice, correct? Yes, Mr. Hagens, that is correct. When they go into the application, they can choose their first choice and their second choice. Um, in fact, we encourage them to. The numbers for each pathway are driven by Gaston College and the lab classes that they have. And so if a student knows that they um, want a particular course, but they want to the Health Science Academy, even if they don't get into that particular pathway, I encourage them to apply for multiple choices. And there's a question about the early college and graduation from the early college. Uh, the, the current existing early college uh, that school has its own graduation ceremony at grade 13. And the I would assume, Dr. Baltnight, that the new Gaston Early College of Medical Science will have its own graduation ceremony. That is correct, Mr. Higgins. And if I could add one more thing about all of our choice programs, this is the last in a series, and we have been very intentional about starting a program in elementary and moving to the next level. However, you don't automatically, if you're in the program, get a seat in that school unless you continue in the choice program. So you're only given a seat in that school if you're in the choice program and still meet the qualifications for the program at the next level. And both early college programs are unique experiences that take place on the Gaston College campus, and that is why you do not have opportunities such as band or sports or other programs that you would find at a traditional comprehensive high school because those early college programs are designed really to be uh, unique, innovative experiences combined with the, the college campus. And uh, let's see. I will try to take just a couple more questions because we are we are past our time to end the uh, webinar. Uh, there are some questions about the Gaston Early College High School, and um, I would ask those uh, the people who have asked those questions to feel free to reach out to Mr. Allen or to email us at schoolchoice at gaston.k12.nc.us, and we will help answer those questions. Um, we do have waiting list for all of our programs. So if you select uh, one program in the lottery and you're placed on a waiting list or you're placed on a waiting list for several programs, as your number uh, comes up in the waiting process, uh, you can make a selection about which program that you want to go into. Uh, there's a question of a child that is currently in the sixth grade, should they apply for the programs? 
there are a few of our programs that have openings at the seventh grade level. If you will contact us, we will share more information with you about which programs across the districts are accepting seventh graders for next year. And let's see. couple of these questions are repeat questions that we have um, answered. There is a question, Ms. Serbeck, and we'll let this be our last question related to kindergarten. If you have a kindergartner who wants to uh, be enrolled, parent wants to enroll that student in Hawk's Nest, they will need to apply for kindergarten, to register for kindergarten, and then they apply to be in the lottery for Hawk's Nest. That is correct for the rising kindergartners for the upcoming school year, yes. Okay. Well, thank you all very much for your questions. Uh, I hope we were able to answer most of them that were shared with us in the Q&A feature. If we did not get to your question or if you have one that comes to mind this afternoon or later, please feel free to reach out to us. You can send your questions to us at schoolchoice at gaston.k12.nc. Dot us. That's the email address that we ask for you to use to send those questions to us, and we are happy to, to get an answer for you. In closing, we certainly want to thank all of you for joining us for our School Choice Information Session. This webinar coincides with this week being National School Choice Week. We realize that students and parents have options, and we sincerely appreciate you taking time to explore the many options and choices that we have available right here in Gaston County Schools. We certainly believe that choosing Gaston County Schools is the best choice because of the caring teachers, the effective academic programs, and the many outstanding resources that we have available for students. We look forward to having your family as part of our 21 school choice programs in 2021. For more information about school choice, we invite you to visit the Gaston County Schools website and click on the school choice icon. And again, you can email your questions to us and we will get answers to you about any of our 21 programs. Again, thank you all for being with us today for our school choice information session, and we hope you have a great afternoon. <laughs>